Hello, hello! Welcome, my creep. Hello, new peeps. Welcome to Super Fast Horses MTG3. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I'm just throwing up three like it's cool. But I'm not. I'm just a nerd. I'm just a nerd. Okay. Anyways, as dorky as I am, we're going to go through three budget couple may be underrated but mainly budget blue cards for cube one of these cards will fit into popper but altogether these are just really strong cards especially if you're working on a budget and all these cards cost at least a dollar or less and i think the average rate for these cards is like 50 cents so with that in mind we start going through these three cards right now well, the first card on this list is an amazing card. It is like half a board wipe and half a combat trick. And 100% amazing. It's like a fixed cyclonic rift. And I cannot riff about how awesome this card is. I love this card when it was printed in M15 for the first time. By now, if you haven't guessed this card, you're going to learn what it is right now. If you never heard of this card, you're going to be surprised. So the first card on this list is Aether Spouts. Aether Spouts is this card. Look at this card. Aether Spouts costs three generic, two blue. It is an instant. It says for each attacking creature, its owner puts it on top or bottom of his or her library. I swear I've seen a lot of stuff in my life, but that was awesome <laughs> this card is nuts it is insane like really strong now it is no aetherize which is not a budget card compared to these cards but it's just as strong and costs five mana instead of four this card is really strong i don't know how to express how strong this card is if you played with this card you'll understand as a budget card it really makes a good filler card and it makes a good combat trick it's just amazing now i can post up like a commander like thassa it says it goes in this deck but it goes in any blue deck that's a commander deck but in cube this card is amazing and that leads us to the next card on the list. <laughs> All right, the second card on this list is Spectra Flight. <laughs> Spectra Flight costs a generic and a blue. It's an enchantment aura. It says enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and has flying. This aura is amazing. So, as much as I could say the word amazing, I have to tell you why this card is amazing. Because at plus two, plus two, and flying. Flying is the key word there, on top of the buff. Because that evasion is so specific and so important for limited environment that it makes the card great. Now, if this was just an enchantment that says enchantment creature has plus two, plus two, and that was it, I would hesitate to run this card, but since this card gives a creature plus two, plus two and flying, this card is pushed to the top of one of my, I would first pick this card, honestly. If I saw it in pack one, I would first pick this card. And the other card that's just like this is one with the wind. Yeah, one with the wind. If you didn't see it there, I'll show it right here. All right. One with the wind and Spectra Flight. When you run two in a cube, yes, look at me throwing up two like they're signs. No, I, I'm not cool, okay? <laughs> but the but the fact that they're cheap, they're aggressive, they do the same thing, gives you more chances to pull them in a the cube, make creatures aggressive. Now, imagine having a Sun Titan, right? And say Spectra Flight's in a graveyard, and you attack with a Sun Titan as a 6-6, six, six, but brings back Spectral Flight onto the 
board and attach it to Sun Titan, you got a 6-6 six, six that turns to an 8-8 eight, eight flyer with vigilance. This is why this card is good. It's, it's workable with weird strategies like I just explained. This card an All-Star, not an every cube. But for those aggressive blue builds, this is amazing. And that brings us to the next card on the list. And for the third card on this list, we have an equipment that was printed in one of those pesky commander decks of the Forgotten Realms of d, &D which was the Galea deck. But this card works amazing in cube. Like budget, non-budget cubes, all cubes that run blue could run this card. Now this card is great in the budget cube because it's really strong. It hits that sweet spot. I don't know how to explain it without saying what it is, so we're going to say what it is right now. It is Winged Boots. Winged Boots cost a generic and a blue. It's an artifact equipment. Equipped creature has flying and ward 4. And ward 4 is whenever equipped creature becomes a target of a spell or an ability an opponent controls, you counter that spell or effect unless its controller pays 4. And it has the equipment cost of one. One! This is a high powered equipment. Once this artifact's on the board, it's hard to deal with just because it's an artifact. And it makes a creature harder to deal with with that ward ability. Plus, giving it flying, it's just crazy. That's why it goes in the Galea deck. That's why it goes in a Rafik deck. That's why it goes into any Voltron style deck that's commander. But in cube, you can put this on anything. You can protect your Hot Rider. You can protect your any creature. This card is bonkers. Okay. I can name off creatures that you want to protect all day long. But the fact that evasion is key here and this card costs like 50 cents. It is worth the pickup. But first to answer last week's question, what are you equipping to your creature? It is winged boots. Winged boots, man. And that brings us to the comment question of the day. But the comment question of the today is what's kicking your butt in magic? Answers in the comment section below. And with that, thank you for watching today's video please like this video comment your favorite card on this video that you liked from this list answer the comment question of the day on this video interact and i will interact back and thank you again for watching and until next time see you on the next video I see her rolling up, Uber black Cadillac, high heel boots, and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad. After her, there ain't no coming back. Wanna take a run at that? I think she's feeling me. Turn it up a few degrees. My imagination of her body gets the best of me. Oh God, she's such a tease. Big lips, bruised knees. I'm addicted to her. Need her touching me, cause she got a bad little waist, and we tearing down this place. Off the